hindsight is twenty twenty. It's always easier to look back at the situation with clarity, especially once we know the outcome. Like that time when your job was suddenly gone, you were laid off. If that has ever happened to you, in the months afterwards, you may have been consumed with fear and uncertainty. Only when looking back could you see how the experience brought you closer to God, as you had no choice but to trust Him to provide. And He did. That unexpected job loss gave you the push you needed to seek to follow the Lord's will more closely, and maybe you even found a job for which you were better equipped. But in the moment, fear, panic, uncertainty, maybe even depression, the future was anything but clear. As Moses led the children of Israel from captivity in Egypt, they faced a similar situation. Would they trust God to lead them into the unknown? Or would they rather remain st stuck in Egypt and in captivity? Knowing the full story of how God miraculously provided and ultimately led them into the Promised Land, it's hard to imagine anyone longing to remain in slavery. After all, they were abused, they were mistreated, and had spent years crying out to God for help. But in the moment, all they could see was a powerful army behind them and the Red Sea before them. And in their fear, the known pain and suffering at the hands of the Egyptians was more appealing than the unknown into which God was calling them to step. But thankfully, Moses chose to trust God to provide a way. And the same God who demonstrated his power before Pharaoh in the form of ten plagues, he split the sea so that the children of Israel could step into freedom. Now, knowing how the story ends, it's difficult to imagine Moses succumbing to the fears of the people. But place yourself in Moses' shoes. What courage it must have taken to move forward in faith. We've all had moments in life when we are confronted with a choice. Step into the unknown or let fear keep you trapped. Where is God asking you to follow him into the unknown? For the follower of Jesus, Following God's call into the unknown means trusting Him to fill the gap where your strength and your abilities and your wisdom ends. This is just a thought, and I'm Virgo Dragget, pastor of Three Angels and Newton Seventh-day Adventist Churches here in South Central Kansas. If you are faced with moving into the unknown, let God step in. Because if God is asking you to move, he will make a way. You can be sure of that. Have a wonderful and blessed day.